Okej, okay, witajcie, ja jestem Izrael, a to jest kolejny odcinek, zagrajmy w Alain Noir, kontynuujemy tutaj Walking Elysian Fields, to już jest trzeci odcinek bodajże. O, tak mi się wydaje, w, e, jeżeli chodzi o to dochodzenie. Skończyliśmy ostatnio na... Nie wiem właśnie. Aha, dojechaliśmy do tej niezwykle prestiżowej w ogóle posiadanie przez jakiegoś, jakąś tam przychę firmy i mieliśmy tu wejść. No to... Czemu nie? Znaczy właściwie nie mamy innego wyjścia, niby wywala nas, spod... mogą nas za to wywalić z roboty, bo się tam wkurzą czy coś. Ale koło to obchodzi. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see Leland Monroe. You have an appointment? With a police lady. We don't need an appointment. Can I tell him what it's about? It's an official investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. Send them through. Okay. And that's our cue. Thanks, ma'am. W ogóle to jest tak przez pięć bramek się przechodzi, idzie się na dół, idzie się teraz tu. May I help you, gentlemen? We would like to speak to Mr. Monroe. I'm afraid it's impossible. Mr. Monroe's schedule is booked weeks in advance. Cut to the chase, sister. Is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. So he hired you for your intelligence? I find that offensive. You have every right to. This is getting us nowhere, miss. Casino. Would you like us to return with a warrant? That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Come into my office. Come into my office. Okay. Takim, nie, skojarzę mi się z takim teksańczykiem. Like a cigar. Drink, boy. Sure, I'll have a scotch. Biggs! Dobra, zobaczmy sobie to. Bo ładne. We're investigating a series of domestic fires, Mr. Monroe. It's terrible, boys. How can I help? Elysian Fields and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? Explanation? Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using Weber. Mostly. Nie widać kiedy on druga, co on z tymi oczami ma. We found a family burnt out in their home. Another house burned to the ground. Another Elysian Fields flyer. Our information is that they didn't want to sell. Are you saying that's something to do with me? Is that your point? Oh, it is. Every time we find a family barbecue, we find one of your flyers. Is that good advertising? Yes, mam jeden. Na what do you jeden? know about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island? My company runs many promotions. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with that one. Mm. The travel agent has a list of the winners. Three of the names on that list have had their houses burnt to the ground. And how many names on the list have not had a fire? I don't know. You wouldn't make much of a lawyer, detective. If you're gonna rely on statistics, then you better get them straight. No, bro. We've made offers to buy houses in areas where fires have been recorded. <laughs> Are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes so that I can sell them new ones? What happens to your plans if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell? We work around them. Business finds a way. That's the American way. Come on, Mr. Monroe. You expect me to believe that you would build a new development with one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it? Progress is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the waste basket of history. To answer your question, yes, we would build around them if we had to. Most people see sense. Dobrze, jest. To one trzy. What's Elysian Fields' involvement in Rancho Escondido? One of our latest housing developments. It was due to open on the weekend, or was before the unfortunate conflagration. 
it met with building code regulation. Absolutely. Only the best for our returning heroes. Mm. Mr. Monroe, I can have I every building you. inspector from the city and the county going over those buildings. <laughs> Son, you have me shaken in my boots. <laughs> the arsonists, do you have any suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think so. The contractors I use for waybills, do you suppose it could be any of them? I have a list of their names if it would be of any help. That would be very helpful, Mr. Monroe. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. My secretary will provide you with that list. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? Oh. Glad to be of help, officers. What's the story? Do any of these names ring a bell? Uh, I just want to click on it, I don't know. Maybe Tyler. Maybe... Oj, wybaczcie, no. To ten? Nie wiem. Poklikamy trochę więcej, bo... Coś tu musi być. Herbert Chapman jest na tej listy. Find the phone. We need to know where we're at with Chapman. Nie jakiś telefon. Tam jeszcze chyba nie wbiję, nie? Albo? Nie, nie wbije się zresztą. Dobra, to pożyczymy telefon z dołu w takim razie. Bo wątpię, żeby tu nie mieli telefonu. Serio? Mogę go użyć? Operator, give me R and I. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? Can you check whether we are still holding a Herbert Chapman? Let me find out for you. He was released this morning, Detective. Damn. I'm sorry, Detective. Not your fault. Can you give me a last known address and put out an APB on the guy? I'll get back to you, Detective. APB will go out over KGPL shortly. Thanks for your help. Yes, just the APB. Well, I love it. Let's make sure to cross the minute I win it. A beautiful face to learn love for me in it. Give me your heart and baby I'll be it. Cause I always kill the things I love Buy me a drink, Cole? No! Not even for old time's sake? Not even for that. You're not gonna ask me why I'm here? I wouldn't give you the pleasure. Well, get around to it. She's in fine voice this evening. I wonder how the commander would feel Save about... threats for someone who cares about them, Roy. You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel about you. Stay away from Elysian Fields. I should have known that you were playing errand boy. You and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Thanks for your cooperation, officer. Stay away. You have no idea the type of people that are involved in that company. I have a pretty good idea, Roy. The same kind of people that sent you here. Your investigation is finished. Homicide will be taking over from here. I've heard we've had a spate of grass fires in the hills that you and that hunchback might be able to handle. Thanks for the drink, Cole. the message about Monroe? Yeah. Earl delivered it. You? The Kelty. He started making noises about my pension. 
Sorry about that, Herschel. I didn't mean to drag you into this. Save it, Phelps. Monroe's an asswipe. And so was Earl. And so was McKelty when it's all said and done. KGPL calling the car 11K, 11K. 11K, go ahead. 11K, the last known address of suspect Herbert Chapman is 650 North Kingsley Drive in Wilshire. Roger that, KGPL. 11K en route. Let's go pick him up. You fought at Sugarloaf, yeah, didn't you? I did. But I don't like to talk about it. You come across a guy called Jack Kelso out that way? You know Jack Kelso? He's an insurance investigator over at California Fire and Life. Our paths cross from time to time. For some reason, seeing you makes me think of him. Has uh, Jack spoken to you about his experiences on Sugarloaf? Or the rest of the campaign? Jack keeps stum just like you do. I know what it feels like to get back from conflict. You gotta respect that. No, także w telegraficznym skrócie z tam komenda główna, czy tam ci wszyscy wszystkie szefy policji chcą nas odrzucić, odcofnąć się chcą. Znaczy chcą nas zabrać tą sprawę, a my już mamy to wszystko gdzieś i lecimy dalej. Tak samo jak ten nasz partner, nie wiem, nie wiem, jak się nazywa w dalszym ciągu. On też już mógł gdzieś, on sobie po prostu. Nie wiem, zemścić się za, za to, nie zemścić się, znaleźć innego tych wszystkich podpaleń i głównie tej spaleń tej, tej rodziny. I, i, i to właściwie było, to było powodem wizyty Erla w tym, w kafejcie. Jakbyście jeszcze nie byli mieli. No, to jak widzicie, w Elaine Marmon mówię, bo dużo dialogów jest, dlatego ta seria jest taka trochę monotonna, ale nie bałem się skończy. Nie bowiem, nie właściwie z czego mógłbym wystartować nową serię, bo mam FIFA, nie wiem czy GTA będę dalej publikował, znaczy będę publikował, nie wiem czy on będzie regularny, gdyż nie mam sprzętu dostatniego do nagrywania, tak, w takiej jakości jak on chciał. I co jeszcze? Nie wiem, możecie porzucać jakieś gry, byle by to nie było GTA 5, bo GTA 5 jeszcze nie wyszło na postać. Możecie porzucać jakie gry byście chcieli zobaczyć z moim komentarzem, bo to będzie dla mnie jakiś znak. No, a ten wyjechał mi prosto przez maskę i... No i... No i nie potrafią jeździć, no. Oni są słabymi kierowcami tutaj wszyscy. Hmm, jeszcze chciałbym zobaczyć, czy mam jakieś ukryte samochody, bo przyjechałbym się czymś nowym. A, a, a! Aj, to już nie wyszło. No ale dobra. Gdzie jedziemy teraz? O, o już właściwie jesteśmy na miejscu. No, tak. Że są komentarze, jak on nie jeździ w ogóle. Jaki on nie jest beznadziejny. Dobry unik. We're looking for Herbert Chapman. I'm looking for him too. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Yeah, he's out somewhere. There's some kind Let's of problem. Let's take a look at the car. Let's see what he's hauling around. How much was it, though? We should revise the APP. He's clearly mm -hmm. armed. Guess so. Definitely gives him oh. opportunity. Oh, Rotki. To dużo ulotek. To jest to, co się długo pali. To już było w poprzednim dochodzeniu. Motive, opportunity and hard evidence. To się długo rozpala i to jest dobry lot. There he is, it's Chapman. He's coming out of the laundromat. 
Shit, he's seen us. Cops, again. Well, son of a bitch, he must have caught the trolley. <coughs> we gotta move fast, Cole. Serio, on wziął I'll call this in, get some cars dispatched. Taki specyficzny trawa. Car 11K calling KGPL. Wow. 11K requesting assistance. In pursuit of suspect aboard the 1110 University streetcar. Currently heading east on Melrose Avenue. Advise all units. Suspect is in control of car and driving dangerously. Roger 11K, all units. Officers need assistance on Melrose Avenue. A suspect aboard the 1110 University streetcar headed eastbound. Approach with caution. Suspect is in control of the streetcar. Wow, I don't know what you're saying. Units to handle code 3 identify. Stay on his ass, Cole. Don't lose him. Ciężko byłoby stracić tramwaj z oczu, prawda? Tak sobie pojadę tutaj za nim. See if he can damage one of the wheels. Might act like a brake and slow the thing down. I need to be close to Phelps! Hold him tight, Cole. As soon as he ditches the tram, we'll be there to grab him. Oh. End of the yes. line, you little prick. Come on, Cole. Looks like we have our man, Cole. Well done. Chapman sure. sure. Chapman seemed to have his own agenda. Sure. 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 There seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. What are you talking about? Fires benefit Elysian in some way. I don't see Chapman and Monroe working together. You have a point. The evidence is good for Chapman. It's hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. Mm. Nice work, gentlemen. Yeah, Put yourself at considerable risk stopping that trolley and probably saved a lot of lives. Anyone else but you, Phelps, and you'd be up for a bravery award. We've had our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can remember. I couldn't be happier than to wipe him off the scoreboard. I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? We'll be calling Richard Nixon a crook next. <laughs> Czy nie był przypadkiem prezydent? Nixon? Co jest to? A letter from Lou. His insurance policy named me beneficiary. California Fire and Life. You worked for Elysian? The roof that he was working on collapsed. It's a very generous settlement. Elsa. I'd like you to do something for me. I think there's something dirty about Elysian Fields. What has that got to do with Lou? I want you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator named Jack Kelso and ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Isn't this police work? Do you want to find out what happened to Lou? Why would he help this Kelso? Jack won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He is a friend of yours? He... Hates my guts. Elsa, you could take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Why not be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Believe me, Elsa, I'd like to level with him. I really would, but it's too late. Years too late. Okay. Co koniec sprawy? Nie wiem, ale ona się będzie ciągnąć dalej. W takim razie. O, nie zaraz. Wow, nie zaradzę innego. innej poszlaki. O... No i pytania trochę mi nie poszły w tej sprawie. Zobaczmy, co będzie dalej. Bo teraz pojawi się jakaś scenka, właśnie. Dobry zapałek. Ciekawa nazwa. Mr. 
Mr. Kelso? That's what the sign on the door says, miss. When is America going to understand? It's not about getting, it's about giving. Oh, if she had a shot, she could to the office, Ms. Lichtman. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. Three blondes walk into a bar. You think? I don't accept this. What do you mean you don't accept? No, you don't. I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A $200 policy with a $20,000 payout? You should... I don't want the money. What do you mean you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Okay. Let me get the case file. How bad is it? Come on, you can tell me. Mm. Sounds like your friend took a hell of a fall. I'm sorry for your loss. Hey, buddy, you dropped something? I think so. Okay. There's got to be more in these files. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? No. Lou Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. What are you talking about, Ms. Lichtman? This was an industrial accident. How do you know that? Because it says right here in black and white. Do you believe everything that you read, Mr. Carso? You and Buck Walter weren't married? No. Then how did you become his beneficiary? We were family friends. You expect me to reopen this case because mm. you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. You really want to know? Yes. We were interned together on Ellis Island, resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. Do you see the irony in that, Mr. Kelso? We spent four years there. So the roof collapsed, accidents happened. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Ms. Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. I'm intrigued, Miss Lichtman. I really am. But you're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. There is a conspiracy surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lichtman. Flimsy, but heady. I've told you what I know, Mr. Carso. What are you going to do about it? All right, Miss Lichtman. One final question. Yes. What's your address? Is that usual? Is there anything usual about this case, Ms. Lichtman? The address is on the letter, Mr. Kelso. The address? Not the phone number. Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack, upstairs. Come on, I'll walk you up. Dobra. A, kończymy ten odcinek w tym miejscu. Trochę się pozmieniało, teraz gramy Jackiem Kelso, co jest trochę dla mnie takim zaskoczeniem. Jest drobna zmiana w tej grze, więc spoko. Mamy sobie urozmaicenie. Mam nadzieję, że odcinek Wam się podobał. Trzymajcie się. Cześć.